such a masterpiece. <laughs> a fruit smoothie. Looks like something else, doesn't it? <laughs> Today is Saturday, January 9th, and I'm about to eat lunch right now. <laughs> Get ready for this because in a little bit I'm going to show some other VHS tapes that have not been shown yet from my parents tape collection. <laughs> Stuff that was recorded all the way back then. Woo! Whew, it's crazy because these tapes have been sitting out there for the longest time abandoned so they've been a part of my collection for a long time now. <laughs> Alright, time to journey into more tapes. <laughs> Okay, I got this set right there, and here I go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, these doors are broken off the hid hinges, hinges, what's the right word, hedges, whatever. <laughs> Getting old. You guys can see that. Look at all those tapes. Old tapes there. I've just been, like I said, left there abandoned. <laughs> and they're all mine now. <laughs> oh, you can think of so many movies in here. <laughs> of course, I've looked through these tapes at different times and well, recently I looked through some. <laughs> yeah, it's always cool coming back to this spot. Ooh. Let's see here, an example. Ooh, Moon Over Parador. Kelly's Heroes, that's the one with Clint Eastwood. The Time Machine. Oh, oh there we go. Oh. <laughs> Let's see another one. Hmm. Two, two, ah, two mules for Sister Sarah. Another Clint Eastwood movie. And there's Platoon. Well, this one called Platoon Leader. I don't think it's Platoon from 1986. And then Remo Williams. I think that might be the movie with Fred Ward. <laughs> uh. Oh, I see. Poltergeist right there. The Hitchhiker. I don't know what the Hitchhiker is, but I know the movie called The Hitcher. <laughs> Ooh, Night of the Creeps. The Road Warrior. Night Flyers. I haven't seen Night Flyers. <laughs> oh, and Robocop is in there somewhere. The original. One of my favorites. You already know that. <laughs> so, there you go with this spot. <laughs> It's just so much nostalgic value. <laughs> oh, it happened again. Oh, it is now the next day. And, well, it's practically the evening now for the next day. <laughs> and I didn't record anything else from yesterday. I record something halfway on one day, and then I just put filming aside when I get distracted, or something comes up, or I don't know what to record to. It just happens in these cases. <sighs> so, I'm brainstorming what else to do, <laughs> what else to film. This is a pretty comfy spot where I'm at. <laughs> it's good to relax and just think. <laughs> think, 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 think. Hmm. Oh, I know. I think I know what to film next. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, I figured I'll take a look at some of my tapes here. <laughs> Since I showed you guys the ones from yesterday, get ready to go on a nostalgic trip with me. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> oh. 
This is quite comfy too. <laughs> Just like the toilet. <laughs> okay. Let me get this wire out of the way. Oh. oh, this is the wire that connects from from my TV to the laptop so I can watch stuff from the laptop onto the TV. Now, which side shall I go on first? Up here or down here? Oh, both exciting choices. Up here. Okay. Yep. Start with this aisle first. There's still some dust, but anyway, I'm used to it. All right, so this one here is the movie The Cave that came out in 2005. <laughs> yep. Oh, I haven't seen this one in a long time. And I think I recorded this from one of the Encore channels. This was back in 2007. That's right. What was I definitely one of the Encore channels. I just forgot, though. Let's see. This movie, So I Married an Axe Murderer. <laughs> Mike Myers. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, I think I recorded that one from one of the Stars channels. Stars comedy? I definitely know. <laughs> Gosh. So I go back on this memory here. This next one, Fletch Lives. Oh yeah, Chevy Chase. And then oh, I want to—I want to make sure. Want to make sure I don't get this out of order, as I had this. This was when I had uh, these stacks in a certain order. When I used to be organized, I would write down titles in a notebook or just like a, just a, like a paper notebook type of thing yeah but I I don't know I drifted away from that so now movies are just placed wherever uh, so I have the first Fletch right here along with the Fletch Lives that I just showed so <laughs> let me just do this okay so this next one is Ooh, the 1979 classic, Prophecy. Yeah, that one has uh, Taylor Schur. Ooh, remember her? Yo, Adrian. <laughs> yep, Adrian from the Rocky movies. And, oh, she also played, um... Gosh, why am I blanking on her name? Uh, Al Pacino's sister in the Godfather movies, right? Damn it! Uh, I had a good memory on that before. <laughs> Again, I just don't want to... Ooh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Tom Cruise cocktail. Man, that was a classic. Little Nicky. <laughs> I recorded this from TBS in 2007. Yes. <laughs> Pumpkin head. Yes, I recorded this from IFC in, oh gosh, 2008 or 9, one of the two. And then, oh, the movie Bad Moon, yes. And that's the one I got the Blu-ray recently from Shout Factory. <laughs> so here's the VHS here. Uh, 1995 or 6, I, gosh, I'm still blanking on that. <sighs> this is an underrated werewolf movie. I recorded Bad Moon, I think. Yeah, that's another one from 2007. I recorded. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do I have right here? Uh, okay. Ooh, The Rage Carry 2. I have this on VHS. I recorded this from Cinemax at the time. I used to have it from Fuse. Remember that channel? <laughs> it's still on there, but anyway. So, yeah. And I have the Blu ray. I have the Shout Factory combo with the Rage Carry 2 and the Made for TV remake of Carry 
both on there together. So yeah. Woo! Chances are with Robert Downey Jr. Let's see, Sybil Shepherd, Ryan O'Neill, Mary Stewart Masterson. I love this movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. Just my luck with Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Horror, this from HBO back in 2007. Boy, I'm in the section where there's a lot of 2007 recordings. <laughs> the Little Rascals! <laughs> oh, the 90s one. Uh, yeah, there's no, um, I know there's the TV show from all the way back then. And remember if there's a movie from back then, before the 90s, I can't remember. But anyway. Ten Things I Hate About You, Heath Ledger and Julia Stiles. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, here's one. This is another underrated movie, Digging to China. This has Evan Rachel Wood, Kevin Bacon, uh, oh, Mary Stewart Masterson, and, gosh, Kathy Moriarty. I'm saying her name right. I've seen her in many, many movies. <laughs> Let's see. Monsters, Inc. I recorded this from pay-per-view a long time ago. <laughs> and this was actually before I got my first VHS player uh, in 2002. So sometimes, occasionally, I'd record just like uh, some movies from pay-per-view, but... It wasn't until later, when I got my first VHS player, it would just go further in recording. That makes sense. <laughs> recording way more stuff. <laughs> ah, primary colors. John Travolta, Emma Thompson, Billy Bob Thornton's in this one, Kathy Bates, and uh, many other names I'm blanking on. Anyway. Gosh. I'll tell you, I'll look at one more stack, and I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go to the bottom right here. First, I'm gonna put these back. Oh! Gosh. Okay. Gently, gently. There we go. Back in place. So let's see here, which shall I choose from the bottom? I wish I could show you guys much, much more, but so many. Uh, so just one more stack. Hmm. Or I guess I'll take this. Get on out. Ah! Huh. Okay. Oh, this is a good stack. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here are the Halloween Town movies. Return to Halloween Town. Halloween Town High. Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge. Halloween Town 1. <laughs> yep. All recorded from the Disney Channel. Um, let's see. I recorded Return to Halloween Town back in 2000. Six. I recorded Halloween Town High in 2004. And let's see, Halloween Town 2 I recorded in 2006. And the first Halloween Town movie I recorded in 2004 or 5. One of the two. So, yes. Ooh, the movie Signs. Mel Gibson. Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan. Okay. Let's see. The movie Little Man with the Waynes Brothers. <laughs> oh, I recorded this from one of the Stars channels back in 2007. I think. To my memory, yeah. <laughs> Flintstones and Viva Rock Vegas. And of course, you just saw him recently when I got it on that VHS tape. I put it up there. <laughs> So yeah, my recorded copy of this, um, I forgot which channel I recorded it from, either HBO or Cinemax, <laughs> long time ago. The f oh, the first Flintstones movie, 
Woo! <laughs> John Goodman and Rick Moranis. Moranis, as you say his name, who plays Barney. They got Elizabeth Perkins, Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> it says Yabba Dabba Doo! Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Next up, Queen of the Damned. It's deemed one of the weakest vampire movies, but eh, it's not all that bad. Connected with an interview with the vampire, but they're both different movies. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> got uh welcome to mooseport that's the one with gene hackman ray romano uh gosh i'm blanking up mm. oh gosh what's her face from the movie liar liar with jim carrey she played um gosh i'm blanking on stuff uh, but i know her face <laughs> and then and, and then the last movie in this stack is batman and robin and I have the other Batman movies back there. <laughs> like Batman Forever, uh, Batman Returns, Batman 1989, Batman 1966 with Adam West. Wow. <laughs> so I just wanted to take a nostalgic trip on camera. <laughs> no. Smooth. <laughs> I've done that smooth gag before. <laughs> I got that from Don Knotts Three's Company. <laughs> if you ever seen Three's Company, that episode where he does that is where. He's in Jack's apartment, um, Jack played by John Ritter, and Don Knotts plays Mr. Furley. So Mr. Furley's in the apartment, there's a party going on, and when Mr. Furley's drinking too much, and then he drinks some extra heavy shit, <laughs> and he does the facial expression, and goes, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> his comedic timing is just, it's great. <laughs> and so after all the facial expressions, then he goes, oh, smooth. <laughs> Uh, Don Knotts is a legend. And also, John Ritter. <laughs> Legends. I uh, miss them. I wish they were alive. Uh, it wasn't until last year in 2020 when I got more into Three's Company because before that, I wasn't really a big fan of the show. Oh! <laughs> you know, I, I'd watch uh, some, some of it here and there on TV Land or wherever it played, like Nick at Night also growing up. But... Other than that, yeah, I wasn't a big fan, but thanks to last year, I guess another good thing that came out of 2020, a crappy year, <laughs> binge watching a classic show. Um, I love this show now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Gosh. Looking back, though, at the tapes, uh, stuff that I recorded from. Most notably, 2007, 2006, 2005, the mid-2000s, as I was looking there and just remembering. <laughs> Practically, my entire life has just revolved around movies <laughs> and TV shows also, but tons and tons of movies <laughs> and the TV. <laughs> yeah. Oh. For those who don't know, most will know this already about me, but for those who don't know, after I record a movie, then to finish off the tape I'd record in credits <laughs> of off of movies or shows. <laughs> I know, it's weird. I don't know what it is about in credits, it's just the way the fonts of the letters look, or the way the they scroll up, or the way uh, channels will do split screens to cover the credits halfway or something and, and play advertisements going on. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> this just, this stuff fascinates me. <laughs> I can't explain it. <laughs> but then again, I, I don't know. I like to think that each one of us likes something weird. <laughs> uh.
<laughs> yep. Oh, I guess also, like, the music in the background of end credits also, like, the soundtracks of movies. That's also another thing that fascinates me with this stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and I have heard a lot of awesome music. <laughs> I, I'm also fascinated with logos of movies, you know, like movie studios, like, um, I'd record that stuff too, but anyway, that's just a part of my world. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, man, it's been quite a nostalgic trip. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed and well, have a good one.